He's a former police officer accused of standing back while a gunman shot and killed 19 children and two teachers at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. Today, Adrian Gonzalez pleaded not guilty to several felony charges for allegedly failing to confront or distract the shooter. He was one of the first officers there on the scene. Listen to the families of the victims confront him just outside the courthouse. Say something to us. The school district's ex-police chief has already entered a plea of not guilty. Investigators say it took 77 minutes for officers to storm the classroom where the gunman was holed up with dead, dying, and terrified fourth graders. NBC News correspondent Guad Venegas is live outside the courthouse in Uvalde, Texas for us today. So, Guad, we know parents have been demanding justice and accountability for two years now. They were at the hearing today. We saw them outside. What happened inside that courtroom? Uh, Vicky, most of the people inside of that courtroom were family members of the victims. A lot of them arrived today with shirts that had photographs of the victims and also uh, their names. Nearly half of the people inside uh, were family members, of course. And uh, we saw the officer or the former police officer, Adrian Gonzalez, arrive with his attorneys, uh, walked into the courtroom in silence. Uh, he pled not guilty to the charges. And uh, the judge set a new date for the next hearing. Uh, that'll be September 16th. That'll be a pre-trial hearing. They also had an opportunity to speak between the prosecutors, the attorney, and the judge to figure out other details uh, with the hearing and some of the evidence moving forward. Now, uh, the family members, as we can see in that video, have been frustrated, right? Uh, they've been waiting for charges to be filed. Today uh, was a big day for them to have Mr. Gonzalez uh, come here and, and, and face them uh, inside the courtroom. Uh, so it was very emotional. And we should also point out, Vicky, that this court building is located across the street from the town center where the memorial were set, was set up for the victims two years ago. So when you walk into the courtroom, when you walk out of the courtroom or the building, you can see that town square with the crosses that have left that have been left there uh, in memory of the victims. Hey there, Guan. It's Morgan here. Listen, more than 370 officers responded to the school shooting. Why are only two of them now facing charges? Morgan, so we know that these two officers are facing charges, right? The former police chief, Pita Redondo, and now uh, the school district police officer, former police officer, uh, Adrian Gonzalez. Now, what we know is that these are the first two officers. They would have been some of the first to respond. They were part of the school district police. Uh, we know that several agencies responded that day. Other police agencies, local ones, as well as state officers and federal officers. Now, we don't know what's going to happen moving forward. In fact, the parents were bringing this up. There were hundreds of officers that arrived that day that were part of the response. Why is it that only two have been charged? So we don't know what will happen in the future. We know that it's an ongoing case. There was also uh, the information that was released by the Department of Justice, a report in which they found that the agencies failed in the way they responded. So we'll have to wait and see what happens moving forward as we know that these two officers are now uh, facing that legal process, Morgan. All right, NBC News correspondent Guad Venegas, who has been covering the story since it broke. Uh, I remember there, Guad. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.